no. That's when it really got uh, got real. And we're following more breaking news this afternoon. This time out of Farmington, four people are dead after a plane crashes into a manufacturing building. And Irene, this all happened on Hyde Road. This is a very industrial part of town. Channel 3 Whitney's News reporter Matthew Campbell is live there with details that are still emerging. Matthew, what can you tell us at this hour? Yeah, Shantae and Irene, we just talked with police and you can see the wreckage here behind me. But first, I want to start off by setting the scene for you. Police say that this plane took off from Robertson Airfield, which is in that direction. It did not get very far because it had some sort of mechanical error during the takeoff and it crashed right here into the grass. And you can see the damage it left behind, a lot of sod unearthed. The plane then skidded right here to the corner of this building, and you can see the wreckage here left behind. Now, in all, there were four people on board, two pilots, two passengers, and none of them survived. We were at work and heard a big, a big explosion, and we all went outside and just saw smoke billowing out of here. Flames and smoke pour out of the Trump building on Hyde Road in Farmington. Just before 10 this morning, a Cessna Citation took off, flew less than a mile before crashing into this building where more than 100 people were hard at work. It is miraculous. I mean, to say we can confirm that nobody was injured inside is, you know, some silver lining to this tragedy. Dozens of workers got out of this building and others in this highly industrial area only to watch as the jet fuel set an entire corner of the Trump facility on fire. Eyewitnesses say they can't shake the sound of the explosion. <laughs> Just a big boom, big uh, thump. Police confirm all four people aboard the plane died in this crash, two pilots and two passengers. But officials know the death toll could have been a lot worse. You know, only a few feet from this building. Um, if the plane had struck that building back there, I mean, the explosion would have been enormous and we would have a lot, a lot more loss of life. Here. And you're taking a live look at the investigation right now. And this is what we're seeing. We see the FAA, we see um, the Office of the Chief Medical Examiners, both on scene, the NTSB should be coming here tomorrow. Now, the identities of those on board are not being released. We can tell you, though, that the plane was heading to the outer banks of North Carolina. And because it was traveling so far, police do believe that plane was full of fuel. Now, firefighters were out here all day putting out some hot spots. And about an hour ago, they got it under control. And that's why you're seeing the investigation start to unfold with investigators actually being able to enter the building. So much more at five and six o'clock, including who owns this plane. But for now, that is the latest live here in Farmington. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. So tragic. Thank you, Matthew, for your report.